Yeah, so I didn't really pray growing up. You know, I was raised Catholic, so I didn't really know what prayer was. I'm like, oh yeah, like you pray, like, oh, pray for me. Like, yeah, I'll pray for you. Like, what does that mean? Be like, okay, like God, like help them. Amen. What? I don't know. But um, as I started, you know, going to church more, uh, actually there was a, a death in my family and then I kind of started getting more into prayer, but not like very like, uh, not very, uh, you know, like strict prayer. It was more of like, just like me driving the car, be like, hi God, or um, I'm going to hang out with my friends and I'm going to try to be, be a good person. So like, please help me. Amen. <laughs> I didn't really, yeah, no, it wasn't like anything official. But then, you know, as I started uh, learning about the Bible, coming to the Bible studies more, coming to church more, I, I, you know, they'd always be like, oh, Sarah, like, do you want to pray at the end? I'm like, not really, no. Because <laughs> it's one thing praying alone, but then it's a whole other thing praying with people and praying for people and in front of people. Because it's like, it's like, oh, like, this is like my alone time with God. But then it's like, you know. But then as I started coming to church more, uh, going to Bible study, you know, praying more because, you know, you can't connect with God physically because, you know, eh, you can't connect with God physically, so you need to pray in order to connect with Him since He is spirit. So, you know, obviously I want to talk to God, so I'm like, okay, like, let's get praying, let's start doing this. And then I remember one day, like, after probably, like, a few months of learning the Bible studies, I, like, I woke up really early in the morning, and I was like, I was like okay, I'll just, like, pray for a little bit because every day I would do that, but then I was praying, and I think it was like praying for my family or something. And like, I checked my phone and it's like been 55 minutes. I was like, what? I was like, I just prayed for 55 minutes. I'm like, Julie, I just prayed for 55 minutes. I'm like, Heidi, I just prayed for 55 minutes. Cause that was just like the longest time it had ever been for me. And then, you know, starting from nothing, it was really significant. And then I was like, yo, like there's no way I could like pray more than that. But then uh, over this past summer, uh, right before I was starting school, I woke up really early in the morning on Sunday. Um, you know, it wasn't really by choice. I was just, I was in a lot of pain. So I woke up and I like was in the bathroom and then I came back out and I was like on, I was just like laying down like on Instagram. And then I was like, oh, I was like, I don't want to do this. Cause you know, being on Instagram, just like blah, blah, blah. It just leads to like repenting. I'm just like, okay, I don't want to waste my time doing that. So I'm like, okay, God, I'm going to pray. And I just ended up staying up for like probably like three hours just like praying like talking with God and like re receiving a lot of like inspirations about you know things in my life things that I should do like uh like yeah like just it was so amazing and then one inspiration I got was that like oh um like I want to like set a condition I don't know if Emily has spoken about conditions during this during this prayer works testimony night praise night um but yeah you know like setting a condition before God that he can you know, kind of give me something he wants or just like understand him more and understand my relationship with him more. Um, so I set this 21 day condition. It was, it was a three hour condition. And just because the significance is that I'm 20 years old. So I wanted to, you know, just go year by year and just like pray for things, mostly like Thanksgiving and like repentance, just because, you know, you repent here and there, but then like, have I actually thought about like, each sin I've committed like year, 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 year. And it's like, you don't want to think about that. But, you know, I was like, okay, I'll do this because I want to like be clean before God. I want like to not have anything blocking what God wants to give me or what God wants to do for me or how I can, what I could do for God. And so I set this condition and don't be like, oh my gosh, three hour, 21 day prayer condition. Because it wasn't, I mean, I wasn't perfect. I'm not perfect. I couldn't I couldn't consistently keep the three hours, but uh, but I still gained a lot from that. And going back, like through each and every, uh, especially like the more recent years, like before, like coming to church and really like coming to God, like going through high school and stuff, like it when you go through all the things that you did that weren't pleasing in God's eyes, you realize how much He really loves you, and that's something I really realize. I really realize that uh, God loves me so much and that he's he's really kind of almost turned a blind blind eye and has still given me so many blessings uh, even though I was so lacking and I was so you know like full of sin I don't want to like make like a bad atmosphere but it's just because it's not it's not bad it's just really it's really good that I that 
we're able to realize that uh, God loves us so much and God, you know, is really, his love is eternal and there's nothing that you can do that can like stop him from loving you. And, you know, that's what I realized. And I hope that no one is scared here to like pray and even like repent if, you, if there's something guilty that you feel about before God, you know, be like, hey God, like, sorry about that. Like, and you know, you'll really be able to feel his deep heart.